Hey everyone, this is Lola. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn about human development and sexual health. But more specifically, we are going to learn about the male reproductive system. If you haven't seen my other videos in this unit, please take a look at it on my YouTube channel. So this is a, a picture of the male reproductive system and we have things on the inside, uh, like we can see over here and then and here, and then we see a picture of the uh, shaft of the penis and the head of the penis, and that's obviously on the outside. So we're gonna start with the urethra. And what is the urethra? Well, it is the tube that's on the inside of the shaft and it comes all the way out here. There's a hole here and uh, it's through which urine and semen both leave the body. Then we have the testicles or testes and we have two of them, one here and one over here. And it is, or they are the male sex glands which produce sperm and testosterone, which is the male hormone. So it's produced in here. And then we move on to the penis. So again, as I said before, this is the shaft of the penis on the outside. And then we see the head of the penis as well over here. And what is it? It's a spongy muscular organ that becomes enlarged and erect when sexually aroused. And again, it varies in size. Then we've got the prostate gland over here. So there it is, prostate gland. And what does that do? It actually produces a milky fluid, which forms part of the semen. So part of the semen, uh, semen fluid that comes out the fluid comes, part of it comes from here. Then we've got the vas deferens, which are these tubes over here on either side. We have this one over here, and we have this one over here. And the vas deferens is a tube which carries sperm from each testicle. Um, so it carries it to the prostate gland over here, the seminal vesicles, which are here, I will talk about that in a sec, and out to through the urethra, out uh, through the, the tube, and then out the urethra. And like I just talked about, it was the seminal vesicles. And this would be one here, and this is the other one right here. And they're two small glands, and they store and produce the majority of the fluid that makes up semen. So some of it, remember, the fluid comes from the prostate gland, but it also comes from the seminal vesicles. So during ejaculation, and we'll talk about ejaculation in a few minutes, the fluid from the seminal vesicles um, is expelled into the ejaculatory duct, which can then move on to mix with the sperm and other um, reproductive fluids. And it comes out over here again. Then we have, and there's no picture for this, but we have the foreskin, which is over here. And it basically is a skin that covers the head of the penis. Um, and sometimes that, that extra skin, that foreskin is removed, uh, surgically, and that's called a circumcision. And finally, we have the scrotum, which is on the outside of the testicles here. Uh, and it's the sac of skin which holds the testicles. Just to make it a little clear as well, the sperm will uh, leave the male's body through the urethra, but this only happens when the penis has an erection, uh, which means that uh, this is erect or firm. Um, erections uh, happen when extra blood fills the spongy tissue of the penis and makes it, and that's what makes it harder or larger and stand out from the body. And this happens throughout a male's lifetime from the time of birth. So it happens actually to babies as well, if some of you didn't know that. So the first time a male may notice that he's producing semen is during a nocturnal emission, um, or some people say a wet dream. So that can happen uh, where you wake up in the middle of the night or you wake up in the morning and you see that the bed is a little wet or your covers are a little wet it was probably a nocturnal emission or a wet dream as opposed to you peeing the bed. It's also important to note that while females do not make semen, they may have something called 
damp dreams in their sleep when vaginal fluid is released. And this also may occur when somebody is self-pleasuring, also called self-exploration or masturbation. Semen also leaves the body when the penis is rubbed or stimulated during self-pleasuring. And while self-pleasuring is possible at all ages, by all sexes and by all genders, ejaculation of semen in males will only happen after puberty. So sperm production or spermatogenesis, it starts when a male is partway through puberty after the growth spurt and growth of the genitals and pubic and underarm hair takes approximately um, 70 days for each sperm to be created in the testicles. And once the process has started, millions of new sperm are produced daily. So sperm, the, mech, the male sex cell made, which we talked about is made in the testicles, um, mixes with a, a whitish fluid made in the prostate. So here it is. Okay, that's the uh, vas deferens, it's going up. Then we see the um, seminal vesicle here and the prostate gland here. So it mixes with those two things and that helps the fragile cells live and move. And as we said, this fluid is called semen. And again, it leaves the body through the um, urethra, but again, only when the, uh, when the um, penis has an erection. And we can see here that the penis, this is the shaft of the penis and the head of the penis, it's erect now because it's pointing upwards in this way and it's firm. Um, so again, remember that this only happens, the erection only happens when, bot when uh, extra blood fills the spongy tissue of the penis and makes this harder and larger and stand out from the body. Um, this is probably a better explanation of what I've been talking about as well. So it's common for males to wake up in the morning with an erection, as, as I had said before. And the first time a male may notice he's producing semen is during a nocturnal emission or a wet dream. Um, we can see here also that humans do not have a bone in the penis despite the common slang misnomer where people say oh so and so has a boner well there's it's called a boner but there's actually no bone in in here people will say oh it's a boner when it's like this when it's erect um although the urethra in males uh, carries both urine and semen out of the body so we know well we can't see it well we can kind of see it here, that's the urethra, and that would be the hole right there. So although it carries both urine and semen out of the body, um, a special valve at the bladder will ensure that uh, only one fluid travels through here at a time. So it would either be uh, urine coming out or it's going to be semen coming out and not both. Well, that's it for this video, guys, on the male reproductive system. I hope that you learned something. And if you did uh, learn something and enjoyed it, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.